One of the things I've learned over many years of first a failed marriage and now a successful marriage is that the enemy truly is out to steal, kill, and destroy. That's John 10, 10. He is out to steal, kill, and destroy your marriage if you're married. And one of the primary ways he does this is to lie to us, to just whisper that little diabolical, that little subtle lie that gets your mind spiraling down in a very bad direction. That lie might sound something like this. Your husband is hopeless. He will never change. Maybe the lie will sound something like this. The marriage is hopeless. God can't even fix this. Or maybe a really subtle lie like, you don't need to listen to the advice of your pastor or that women's ministry leader. They don't really understand your specific situation in your marriage. You don't need to listen to them. Or a lie like this, boundaries, boundaries would never work with your husband. You might as well just give in, just toss in the towel. Or the lie that your children would be better off if you got a divorce. Blah, 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 blah. Everything that's coming out of his mouth is a lie. He's the father of lies. That's in John 8, 44. We have to really test everything, all those thoughts that come into our head. Does this sound like something God would say? That's the question that I've learned to ask myself in that moment when that negative, hopeless thought comes in, that thought that I can't trust anyone's advice in the church, that they would not understand my situation. I have to ask myself this question. Does that thought sound like something God would say? Would he say it's hopeless? that it's impossible, that you don't need to listen to any advice from godly people? No, not so much. Would he say that boundaries would never work? Well, actually, he is an advocate for boundaries. Read about that in Matthew 18, verses 15 through 17. Yeah, the liar is out to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't just listen to that voice, that negative, hopeless voice. Don't welcome it in. Don't align yourself with those lies. Instead, test everything, test every thought, test every whisper that enters your mind and say, does this sound like something God would say?